Hello and welcome back. I am Latte, a Dandelion VTuber, trying her best. And currently today we will be reacting to the character demo, Arlequino Lullaby. I will warn you, this will probably not be brief. I will be pausing it a lot to point out both things that are obvious or things that might be less obvious. Um, I enjoy that. So if that's your thing, let's get right into it. <laughs> I also, before I forget, because I often do forget things, um, I love that the promotional titles to all of Arlequino's trailers, I guess, and highlights have been interconnected. The song in the embers, sleep in peace, and now lullaby, they're all interconnected because the song lullaby is a song you sing to children to help lull them to sleep, sleep in peace. Very clever of Genshin to do that. We already have a sound design choice within the first five seconds, which is the crackling of a flame. That's cool. That's cool. Legend has it that long ago, the long nights were the den of dangers untold. Oh. Okay, so we have Inazuma. The children would huddle at oh, home and we have the Liwa. hearth, awaiting the adults' return. We have Sumeru, and now we have Fontaine. Oh. So what she just said is that the dangers of the night, the darkness, the children would gather around the hearth to await for their parents' return. Interesting, interesting. And then we have her passing through all of the areas. I think it's, um, I'm not entirely sure why this choice is, but she first passed through Mondstadt, then Inazuma. Then we get a flash of Liowa because I saw the tree branches and the like mountainous in the background. And then we, face down to the Sans of Sumeru, and then we go to Fontaine. Why is that, why is it that order? Why is Liwa after Inazuma? I feel like Genshin wouldn't intentionally do that unless it was something important. Um, ooh, this shot already is chef kiss. She is tiny. Like, you feel her isolation, you feel her loneliness, the throne is, well, is very large for her, or anyone in general. There's like a fog smokiness to the background, there are pillars rising up out of the ground. I don't recognize the throne, so if anyone in the comments wants to point out where this throne in particular is from, it looks familiar but I can't quite place it. But this is really cool. Oh, 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 oh. That's so cool. It's so cool. Just having the imagery change. It is the same location except now she is on a throne shaped like a flame. It's very sharp. It's very jagged. She is more casual. So maybe the old throne possibly was her in the past, like first coming to be the head of the house of the hearth. And now she's comfortable. She is more casual. Um, it is also lighted in red. Um, color symbolism in general is super important to point out. Um, Arlequino's colors are, for the majority of them, is red, white, and black. Um, red indicates caution, danger, blood, negative things. But it also represents love, joy, 
passion. Black is darkness, evilness, um, death, grief. Um, in some cultures, it also represents wealth. So I, I see what you're pointing out, Genshin. And then the symbolism of white is pure. It is innocent. It is light. And all of these things intertwined together make up Arlequino's color scheme. I think that's really cool that they chose those particular colors because they can mean so many different things, but all of them together make up her, her herself. Spark cannot shatter all shadows until it sets oh all in place. Or else to the other end of light lie still bleak shades. Okay. There was so much there. Um, we have a, a child telling us a nursery rhyme sort of warning which nursery rhymes in general are usually told to children as warnings and have very dark meanings usually so that also is is a thing to point out like pocket full of posies you know that little happy tune it's, it has a very dark history. We won't get into that in general, but it, it, it's very dark. So having this childlike voice tell us this. Um, I love that they used very poetic language for it too. Shatter, like that word in general, indicates the breaking of something fragile, usually glass. And then a spark cannot shatter all shadows until it sets all ablaze or else the other end of light lies still bleak shades. Bleak meaning barren, cold, desolate. And then shades. Shading usually comes from like shelter from light or the shadow of something. You know, like, you know, when you want coolness from the heat. Oh, the combination of words. It just, it just makes my brain go, go, go all funny. <laughs> um, let's look through the, um, all of the imagery. Oh God, that, that is an image that will haunt me. The, the shadows of the children, they look like ghosts. And then... Oh, God. Let's, oh, we have a shattering of something. Let's go see what that is. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, oh, is that a fireplace? Just a minute. Let me, let me, let me get, get, get. Oh, that is a fireplace. That is a fireplace right there. Oh, we have the glitchy imagery. A lot of people have pointed out that our Lakino represents an error. So the glitching, that's really cool. All right, let's find the shattered object because I just saw it. Uh, God, it's so, like literally all of these images happen. So oh, is that her friend's necklace? And it's shattering apart. It does look like the same shape of the necklace. I don't think. Genshin would put this in there unless it wasn't important. The, the, the voice could also either be Arlequino's younger self um, talking like warning or else it could be the friend. I can't place the voice. There's also this language is everywhere. Like is it Connerian or just the Tabot language? I can't read it, so I have no idea what it says. I'm sure other people will analyze the shit out of this and will point it out, but that's really cool. Or else to the other end of light, lie still bleak shades. God, she's so cool! <gasps> oh! That's... 
That's a really cool shot. Also, Dire Bale Moon. That's, that's an interesting word choice. And I know that represents Arlequina and herself because I remember some of the promotional images. I think that's the word they, those, those combination of words they use to represent like Arlequino's like banner. Um, dire, like, you know, desolate. Um, it, it means, means like, you know, like, there is, there's danger basically, and there is no help in sight. That's what I think of when I hear dire. Um, bale, like a bale of hay, maybe, maybe a bundling of something. But bale also means a evil destruction, um, suffering. And the moon, the moon, the opposite of the sun. We we have the eclipse imagery in the background. It's either an eclipse or just black and white on uh, circling each other in a half moon or in a half half circle. And then we have the smoke, the the remnants of a fire coming off of Arlequino's name. <laughs> shot her dragging the scythe along the ground creating the sparks from the sand that is so cool she's so bad out Okay. Um, usually, usually when this imagery, this scene setting is used where it is the sky, um, represent, is representation of either like a heavenly realm, a place of decision, usually where there, there is a crossroads, you know, the X within her eyes also means like a crossroads. It doesn't only mean X marks the spot or error, as other people have pointed out, but like there is a crossroads of a, a decision, perhaps, that she has to make. Oh. And then looking down at her reflection. Oh. We have a child's voice again. The children passing by her, laughing, having fun. They're desaturated, meaning maybe it's her past. Oh, oh, and there's a choir now. There are multiple children singing and they are in full color. So maybe, maybe this is present, present day? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is such a cool shot. But like right before, right before this really awesome shot, we have her lifting up a finger to her mouth. That gesture usually saying hush. So she's either telling her children to like hush, hush now, like it's time for bed or um, she's telling the audience to hush because her children are singing, you know? Also, the eclipse-type imagery, the cracking of the ground, it literally looks like a sort of version of hell. You know what? Uh, a version of hell that I would love to live through because she is there. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, so cool. The glitching. The Oh, the eye. Cool 
shot of her clutching her face. Oh my god. It's so cool. Like, she is silencing herself, but her eyes are staring out at you. They are watching you. She has you in her sights. This guy falling down into her hand. Her hand coming up out of the, out of the abyss. The darkness to clutch, to shatter, to crush. I hear that the children love to play by the fireplace. <gasps> so let us continue to- Oh my god. That's the fireplace we saw throughout the flashing imagery at the beginning. Use the name House of the Hearth. Still, <gasps> its flame is no longer needed. For you have the strength to defend yourselves. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's such a really interesting choice for a shot. There is the siblings that we all love gathering, having a warm conversation. There is her watching over them in the background, lit by light and also by shadow. Like half and half. And she is warning them. She is saying that they no longer need to gather near the flame. Like they don't need the protection of it no any longer. Its flame is no longer needed. The flame is no For longer you needed. You have the strength to defend yourselves. And then this right here, where she is fully immersed in the darkness. She is like looking down as if she has made a decision. She herself represents the flame, the spark, the ember of the House of the Hearth. I, I believe that is the symbolism they're getting at. Um, I might be wrong here, but they no longer need her because they have the strength to defend themselves. So she has certainly made a decision either for them or just about her her future and i hope like there is a lot of foreshadowing within this trailer alone and there is so much imagery and symbolism gosh and she looks sad about it too like she's like i will like, there is a day when I will no longer be here, so you need to be prepared for that. But you you have the strength. I love the... Um, it kept bringing up the crackling of the flames, the hearth. Like, there is constantly imagery flashing of the, the fireplace. And then we end on the fireplace. It's bringing it full circle. Because if you remember at the beginning, she was telling us about the legend of um, children gathering around the fireplace to provide warmth and security while they wait for their parents. And she is basically telling her children, you don't need to wait around for your parents anymore. You were strong enough on your own and you don't need this protection from the dangerous dens of darkness that those legends tell full it comes around full circle oh. this was a amazing wonderful jaw-dropping badass trailer for arla Kido. i am so excited to find out more about her and her story that's coming out in the new update thank you so much for joining me um, may you have a good morning, a good night, or good afternoon. Bye-bye!